Yo, what's going on guys? Um, the last time we talked about Wyckoff inside of the Forex market, this time we'll look at the trends uh, inside of the market combined with Wyckoff. And we will look at the lower time frame and the higher time frame markets, a real example of how the markets can move. And we look at the markets and check the trends. Um, this is very important because when you understand this, you have you can form a really nice bias of where the market could go. And it will also help you to better understand where to take profit. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like if you want to see more of this kind of content. When you start trading, it's really important to know the trends inside of the market. So first of all, you need to know that we have a uptrend and we have a downtrend. So when the market goes up, we have an uptrend. And when the market goes down, we have a downtrend. This is the first really important thing to understand. Um, inside an uptrend, the market never goes in a straight line. So what we will see in the market is we have short term uptrends and the short term uptrend will eventually go in a downtrend. When we have an uptrend, uh, we have different reaccumulations inside the market. So every time we break a new high, a reaccumulation is formed. Um, we can also identify this as a break of structure. So we get a new high and we have a break of structure. After every break of structure, we have a new higher high and we have a new higher low. Again, we have a new reaccumulation. We break the structure. So we have a boss and we have again a new higher high and a new higher low. The same principle is for the downtrend where we have a redistribution. Whenever we break a new low and we have a break of structure again. Um, when for break of structure in a downtrend, we get a lower low and a lower high. We get a lower low and a lower high. And our break of structure again. So the markets never move this clean. It's really important to understand. This is just an example. Uh, another important part to understand is we have a shift in momentum when we go from uptrend to a downtrend. We can mark this as a break of order flow or change of character. The name doesn't really matter. It's the shift in momentum when we break the less higher low and we make a new lower low into a new lower high, new lower low, a new lower high. So we go from an uptrend to a downtrend. And this is mostly the most important part in the market where you want to put, where you want to check to um, place your limits or go into the trades. When you understand the uptrends and the downtrends in the market, the change of character and the change of momentum in the markets, it's important to understand that you have uptrends in the lower time frame, the higher time frame, and maybe on the daily time frame, the weekly time frame, maybe on the seconds. It doesn't really matter. But every big trend, so every uptrend, also comes with a shorter uptrend and a downtrend, uptrend and a, and a downtrend. So basically in every trend, you have another bigger or smaller trend. And whenever you understand where you are in the markets, in which trend, which time frame you are, you have a better understanding uh, where to take your take profits. Uh, where the market will go in the future. And this will really help um, with your trading in general. So here we have an example of trends and wike together. And I will walk you through. Uh, we have our accumulation, your accumulation get tested and we make a new high. So we now have a reaccumulation. We make an, another new high. We go up, but this time we break lower to test the reaccumulation a bit lower, and then we make our new real high. So we have a new reaccumulation. 
We get a distribution, but we only get a small push out of it inside the recumulation and we break higher again. So we can say we have a short term reaccumulation here, but it broke there. So we get a bigger distribution. So the reaccumulation becomes a distribution. We break and we have our break of order flow or, or change of character and we will look for cells. So we have a distribution. We test the distribution with another distribution. Uh, the smaller distribution also has a nice reaction here. Um, and we break lower to form a redistribution. We test the redistribution again with a small uptrend and we break lower again. So we form a new redistribution. We get an accumulation, but the accumulation only gives a small push inside the redistribution and we sell off again to make our final redistribution. This is a great example and this can happen on every uh, single time frame. And when we put it all together, it will look like this. Um, we have accumulation. We make a new high, so we form our reaccumulation. We test the reaccumulation again. We form another accumulation and we make a new high and we form a new reaccumulation. So again, we have a new high, we test the reaccumulation and we make a new high and we form another smaller reaccumulation. We test the reaccumulation again with a accumulation and inside this accumulation there's a smaller accumulation um, we test accumulation and we make a new high again so we form a reaccumulation so where we are now we have a distribution and we break our schematic so we break our distribution we test the distribution And we make a new low, so we form a redistribution. We form the new redistribution and we test the redistribution again. And we form a new low and a new redistribution. So I think you now have a better understanding of how the market moves with trends and with Wyckoff. And I hope it really helps you to elevate your trading.